Sam the Reporter here with... Sarah from Sarah Rose Photography. And today we're going to be doing a sexy boudoir photo shoot for my trading cards this month. So you brought a lot of stuff here today. Uh, we're ready to go through it all. So this is my camera. This is what I shoot with. Um, it is a Nikon Z6 II. And you like Nikon specifically? I do. That's what I grew up around. I had like family members who took photos and... Is this a generational thing? I mean, not really. Like, I, one of my cousins heavily influenced me in like middle school because she liked photography. Like, the peer pressure was really strong. It was so strong. She was like, she was like hey, Sarah, come over here. I, I've got something for you. And you thought you were going to have your first cigarette, but when you turned around, there was just a Polaroid? Yeah, it was just like the worst. I have three different lenses I shoot with, all for different needs and circumstances. So I have an 85, I have a 50, a 28, and then they all have different apertures, different f-stops. If you have the lower the f-stop, the more light you're gonna be able to get into your camera from that lens. I, I don't really wanna get all technical and boring and blah, blah, blah. I think you saw my eyes, they were like a deer in the headlights. And so thank you for that. What lens would you use if you were taking like family photos? Basically, if I was, Taking family photos, I'd probably just use a 50 millimeter lens. You have that? Yep, it's actually on my camera right now. And because we're doing boudoir today, I'll probably use this lens too. 50 is good because you can get nice and close to your subjects, and the 85 is good for like senior photos, let's say, or something like that. Cool, cool. What else we got in here? What's that? This. Whoa, look at that. What is that thing? For, this is for diffusing light. Yep, it's pretty cool. You want to touch it? Yeah. This is a flash, so the flash actually just... Like clips into it like that? Yep. Yeah, use this for weddings a lot, like in dark rooms. Go ahead and flash that on my face right now if you can. All right, is there anything else that you wanted to show us in there? If you're a life lifestyle photographer like me, or wedding photographer, people like to shoot with different objects. Obscure your shot a little bit, so it's not just like a plain shot. Like, if I add this and I shoot with this, we can get kind of cool shots. So, Ooh. prisms, prisms, they are called, and prisms. things, so. I've been to prison before. <laughs> that was a pun. No, I haven't. All right, well, maybe we should, uh, should we do as the old saying says, uh, should I get ready for my close-up? Cool beans. I'm all ready. It's not too revealing, is it? Do you uh, do you think any of it's too much? Which one? I feel like the cape is necessary. Sounds like a plan to me. Now let's spring into action. Incredible, stunning, fascinating. That's what people are going to be saying about the shoot today. How do you feel about it? I thought it went super well. Um, you know, you brought your own ideas to the table. I had mine, and we were able to collaborate and come up with some great art. If you are looking for a boudoir shoot, a senior photo, or even a family portrait, hopefully not all three at once, Look no further than Sarah Rose Photo. 
I've been Sam the Reporter. Thank you for watching. Back to you, Sam.